quoted the chapter World Between Wars 1900 to 1945. Let us discuss the topic New International Organization in World Between Wars. There are three, more than 300 international organizations. Now we discuss about some of the organizations. The first International organization is UNO, found on 24th October 1945. We discuss some other organization. Now I am showing some organizations. United Nations organization is headquarters is New York, New York. It is founded on 1945. And next UNICEF. It is the United Nations Children's Fund. It is located in New York, USA and it is founded on 1945. Next, UNCTAD. It is full form is United Nations Conference on Trade and Development. It is located at Geneva, Switzerland. It is founded on 1964. And uh, going to the next WHO, World Health Organization. It is located at Geneva and it is founded on 1948. International Labor Organization. It is also uh, the, at Geneva and it is founded on 1919. International Committee of the Red Cross means ICRC. It is situated at Geneva and established on 1863. And World Trade Organization WTO. It is situated at Geneva and established on 1995. Going to next International United Nations Educational Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO It is located at Paris It is established on 1945 United Nations Educational and Cultural Organization It is located at Paris and founded on 1945 Next, World Meteorological Organization, WMO. It is established on 1950 and the headquarters of uh, Meteorological Organization is Geneva. World Intellectual Property Organization, WIPO. It is situated at Geneva and founded on 1967. International Organization for Standardization IOS. It is situated at Geneva and founded in 1967. International Organization Atomic Energy Agency IAEA. It is founded on Vienna Austria. It is founded formed on 1957. Organization of Petroleum Exploiting Countries OPEC. It is situated at Vienna, Austria. It is formed on 1960. International Monetary Fund IMF. It is uh, situated at Washington in USA and formed on 1945. All the organisms are established nearly in 1945. So, uh, World Bank Group, it is the largest bank in the world, WMG, and it is uh, situated at Washington. It is also established on 1945. And some other organizations are International Maritime Organization, IMO. It is situated at London, UK. And for, for
formed on 1959 and go into food and agricultural organization related to food and uh, FAO. It is situated at Rome and formed on 1945. North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, Brussels, Belgium, and it is formed on 1949. It is also a world international organization. Next, World Wide Fund for Nature, a world WWF. It is situated at Glen, Switzerland in formed on 1961 World Economic Forum WEF and Colossini uh, founded on Switzerland and formed on 1971 all these are international organization let us learn the detail of United Nations Organization. After World War I, the League of Nations was formed on 10th January 1920 to resolve disputes peacefully and to the replace of League of Nations, United Nations Organization came into force on 24th October 1945 after World War II. United Nations Organization is a kind of world government based on four principles preserve peace, uphold human rights, respect international law and promote social progress. The headquarters of UNO is in New York. Further main offices are situated at Geneva, Nairobi, Vienna and Hague. The main six organs of UNO are General Assembly, Security Council, International Court of Justice, Secretariat, Economic and Social Council, and Trusteeship Council. Now going to the detail of the six organs of the UNO. All these are established in 1945. Going to the General Assembly. General Assembly is the one of the six principal organs of the UNO, serving as main deliberative, policy making and representative organ of UNO. And General Assembly is responsible for UN budget appointing the non-permanent members to the Security Council and appointing the Secretary General of UNO. The President Tijani Mohammed was the head of the General Assembly since 17th September 2019. I am going to the subsidiary organs of UNO, means the authority is led by General Assembly. There are 30 total committees and 6 are the main committees, 6 commissions and 4 councils, boards 7 panels one and working on other staff and going just for every five years and going to the security council security council carries out all the administrative works of the UNO as directed by general assembly and security council and also approving any changes in the UN charter and recommending the new UN members to the General Assembly and going to the presidency rotates among 15 members of the Security Council. The Security Council has 15 member states. Five are permanent members China, France, Russia, UK and US and 10 are non-permanent members elected for every two year terms by the General Assembly. And go coming to the Secretariat. Secretariat is the United Nations Executive Arm and the Secretariat is responsible for decision making bodies of General Assembly and Security Council and Economic and Social Council and also implementation of the decision making bodies of General Assembly and Security Council. I am going to the 
secretary general of the secretariat antonio guterres is the secretary general of UNO and the secretary general who is appointed by the general assembly is the head of the secretary general and antonio guterres was working since 6th february 2018 and going to the economic and social council economic and social council responsible for coordinating the economic and social eight functional commissions five regional commissions under its jurisdiction jurisdiction means legal decisions the council consists of 54 member states and presidency of economic and social council is munir akram he is the 76th president on 23rd july 2020 and going to the sub agencies of economic and social council they are food agriculture organization world health organization united nation international development organization imf international monetary fund coming to icf icf is the supreme court in the world and the president of icf is abdul kabi ushur since 6th february 2018 and the icf is the permanent court of international justice which was established by league of nations in 1919 but it is now it is under control of uno and icf is composed of 15 judges elected to 9 year terms by the general assembly and now going to, going to the trusteeship council trusteeship council is very inactive from 1994 but it is aim is to international security and peace let us know some other international organization ilo means international labor organization its aim is to promote and realize standards and fundamental principles and rights at work to create greater opportunities for women and men secure and decent employment and equality between women and men to enhance the coverage and effectiveness of social protection for all it was formed in 1919 and headquarters of ILO situated at geneva i'm going to the another international organization world trade organization wto was established in 1995 and headquarters are at geneva wto has six key objectives it is established to set and enforce rules for international trade to provide a forum for negotiation and monitoring for the trade regulation to restore trade disputes to increase the transparency decisions of the decision making process let us know some other international organization ilo means international labor organization its aim is to promote and realize standards and fundamental principles and rights at work to create greater opportunities for women and men secure and decent employment and equality between women and men to enhance the coverage and effectiveness of social protection for all it was formed in 1919 and headquarters of is ilo situated at geneva i'm going to the another international organization world trade organization wto was established in 1995 and headquarters are at geneva wto has six key objectives it is established to set and enforce rules for international trade to provide a forum for negotiation and monitoring for the trade regulation to restore trade disputes to increase the transparency decisions of the 
decision making process to cooperate with other international organizations. Thank you for watching this video. The next topic will be explained by my friend Keith Street.